I bought every keyboard from Walmart and I'm gonna rank them on a tier list. Are any of them gonna be S tier? Are they doomed for F tier? Let's find out. This is the Game On keyboard. It was $44. The packaging is pretty drab. It's a little bland. Okay, solid aluminum frame. So, is it trash? Blah, 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 blah. Your character's life is on the line here. Game on. It's a little cheesy. Magnetic wrist rest. Ooh, it is straight plastic. Two kick up feet, except there's no rubber here at the very bottom. That, that's not good. Plug it in. Starting with the bar pretty low here. Oh, scary, scary sounds. It is so loud from the look of it. Otomu Blue for $45. I don't know if I can say this is worth it, especially when there's a lot better options. Definitely not in the S tier. Not that good. There's a lot of other things I would put there, but not this one. I'm gonna be putting it in C tier. Yeah. At least it's mechanical. My hopes have sort of been destroyed with the first one. Keyboard number two. This is the Steel Series Apex 100, and it was priced $29.77. Wait, it's a little bit too cheap to be mechanical, don't you think? It says gaming. Oh, a Steel Series tension switch. What? in the world is that built to minute mimic a mechanical switches operation okay okay so it's fake oh <gasps> no rgb good gift for someone you don't like okay non-detachable cable yet again lots of danglers it screams membrane the the back design yeah it's looking not bad yeah, okay, it sounds a little This thing looks like an egg that you've just wiped clean with a cloth. That didn't make sense, but it's glossy. So this one doesn't have a lot going for it, but it does have this cool design. If you look real closely, wow, oh, sort of gross. Here's the keycap. And then here is the rubber dome. I'd put this at, hmm? I mean, the price is pretty good. I and mean, you got blue LEDs at least, but I feel like they sort of lied to me. It's not a good one. I could get a Red Dragon K552. I'm putting it in F tier. <laughs> For this price, I think we can do better. So far, we've got a keyboard in C tier, keyboard in F tier. Not looking good. Next keyboard. Okay, this thing was sitting at Walmart for a long time. This one's $64. I'm gonna say it's a, it's a little iffy. Does appear like someone maybe has opened it. Roma G Tactile. It has USB pass through. Ooh, first one of its kind. And all black. Real sleek. Ooh. Romer switches are 25% faster and 40% more durable than standard mechanical switches. For some reason, I feel like that's hard to believe. Let us type. Not too bad. It looks great. I don't know. It's not mechanical. It is mechanical. I'm so confused at this point. There are no other colors from what I can see. And the font of the numbers are, are weird. Like on the bottom half instead of the top half. Same with all the letters. They're not centered properly on the keycaps. How strange. In this space bar. It is like a skelly. Very loud. I... I'm gonna put it into C tier. Not amazing. Keyboard number four from Walmart. This is the most expensive keyboard at the store. This is the Razer Black Widow Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I think it's the old one. Lots of beat up boxes around here at Walmart. It's expensive. It's not the V3 and it straight up looks like the one from like 2014, 2016. And why did someone steal a keycap? I feel robbed. Gammed by Walmart once again. At least it wasn't wish.com. We got a really large dis dust cover. Is that what the extra money gets you, a dust cover? Take a great look at it. Hey, 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 two angles of feet. What happened to backspace? We'll just pretend that never happened. But seriously though, I actually like this font. This font looks really 
good. I guess you can tell it's new because they use the new razor look, like the, the lettering of their logo. Very nice, very nice. Still ABS plastic, still very smooth, and it's got the CoStar stabilizers, but you do need to know what it sounds like. Honestly though, it sounds good. Even the, the space bar, all the stabilized keys, even though it's clicky, it sounds good. I'm, I'm shocked. Cross shape stem and everything. Dang, this one's upgradable. It's about $70 though, so it's a little on the pricey side. But this is like nostalgic for me. It reminds me of my old, old, old Razer 2014 Black Widow Tournament Edition. And I had that thing for a long, long time, long time. I feel pretty good about it though. Way better than Steel Series. way better than Logitech. Razer, you done good, you done good on this one. I'm gonna give this one an A. Maybe it's the nostalgia hitting me in the head, in my heart. Cause I do like this keyboard. Keyboard boomer confirmed. You already know. The Corsair K55 Pro. Not the normal, not the normal K. The Pro, shaking my head. This was $49. Dynamic five zone RGB backlighting. So not, not actual RGB. You have a detachable palm rest and mm, that's pretty good. And quiet and responsive keys. This is a membrane keyboard. Scammed. Not again. Another hard wrist rest. I'm so tired of seeing these. Like, where are the plush, nice feeling ones? The effects are not good looking. Multimedia keys, Windows lock. This RGB is not good. It is membrane, so I'm not expecting that you can do much. Yeah, you can't do anything with the keycaps or the switches. Why is it so big? Because everything at Walmart is basically a full-size keyboard. Okay, it doesn't sound amazing. It's a tough choice, it's a tough choice. This one deserves the best rating that I could possibly get with its amazing RGB dedicated multimedia keys. Boom, it is not magnetic, it's sad boy not good. And the last one, this is the Razer Sinosa Lite. $39.98, but it's got real RGB. None of that zone rainbow stuff. Bill resistant design and custom lighting profiles. But why is it light? What does that mean? It comes with a manual that says, Nothing. It doesn't explain why it's light. Sticker stolen at Walmart. It is all plastic with really, really bad feet. No rubber on it. You, it's just gonna slide around. And these pieces are tiny. The RGB looks terrible. And there's no Razer branding except this. And it's still trying to install Razer Synapse. Please stop. Okay, for $40, this is, this is something. Razer, I don't know how, how you could do this. Very flat membrane keyboard. I do like how the tops of it are shaped like how an actual keyboard would be shaped instead of the Corsair being all spaced apart. Macros, gamer mode, probably got Windows lock. Kind of disappointed for the price. Very matte keycaps, ABS. I'm too scared to look at what's under the hood, but I think we already know where this keyboard belongs. The lighting is so dim. I'm not gonna draw this out. It's just not good. Boom, straight up F tier, there we go. Like for the same price as all of these membrane keyboards, you could have gotten an actual mechanical keyboard that was a little bit better. Or ironic that the Walmart keyboards are ranked into an L shape. But in conclusion, Walmart is probably a scam. No, it's not a scam. But I'm a little sad that I lost a keycap and had a banged up box that looked like it was open before or even had a product from like two years ago. Where's the new stuff at Walmart? Where is it? Thanks for watching and check out this video right here.